Ballin' in that bitch 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 What's going on, man? Welcome to Cali K9 Kennels. I'm in here busting down right now. This is one of my little temporary kennels I have set up while I'm setting up some artificial grass and some and some different uh, surfacing for my new kennels. But for now, you know, we over here just getting it getting it right. Um, this is a uh, no. It said totally covered all the way, a four sides plus a roof. Certain dogs like to jump. You know, got the you know big uh, heavy duty beds and all that kind of stuff, man. Because if, if you want to do it, you only have to do it once. You don't have to keep buying the material over and over. Uh, you know, got another kennel over right here. You know, making sure you got the roof in here, just in case the weather elements pick up. Got to make sure you got your your roofing all set up, some kind of housing for them. Uh, I like to keep a uh, a garbage can, a garbage can, uh, you know, for the poop, a small can, you know, so that's isolated just for the dog poop. And sometimes you might want to double bag that because uh, that bag can get kind of heavy. Uh, you know, in his life, you know, it's, it's a dirty job, man. So, you know, we got picking up poop. You know, this is this is part of it, man. So, I, you know, hit the kennels real quick and, hey, somebody got to hey, do man, it. I got the, all the grass put in, man. I got, um, you know, artificial turf right there. I got some, uh, you know, the bleach cleaners. I'm making sure it keeps it, you know, clean. So, you got to flush it out with the bleach. But, you know, the turf seems to be a good solution when you have dogs uh, who running around is going to kick up real grass, so it, it oftentimes will make uh, a mess, and then they'll be tracking muddy paws all over. So the artificial grass seems to be working pretty good. You know, it gets a little hot, you know, but you got to like have a little shaded area. So we're working on that as well. Uh, it's another little part of the area right here. So this is the artificial grass. You know, they put down the base rock, and then they put down a, 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 another layer of uh, a more thinner rock, compress it all. You know, and then you just seam it up, put it in pieces. So I got a pretty good layout. I made mine uh, basically the, the 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 dimensions like a Schutzen field for IPG or for IPG field. So when I'm doing competition, I'm doing my routine. I'll be able to do the routine and, and, and do the whole routine right here with this whole little left turn thing. So something I'll put together, man, and, you know, do practice what I'm trying to do. Uh, you know, over here we're going to have some... Uh, Rocks being put down, you know, some gravel. And uh, I'll set up some dog runs over there, gravel. So, you know, when they're just running around and they gotta use the bathroom, they know to use the bathroom over in that, in that part of the yard. Uh, I also have a couple of kennels set up over here, you know, if I just wanna like separate dogs, cause sometimes it's good to have dogs separate parts of your house so they don't kind of kick off the energy off of each other. They can be separated and kind of be on chill mode. Plus, you got dogs on each side of your house. So now you got, you know, pair of eyes on each side, not just all in one spot. So, you know what I mean? A security tip for you on that, on that note. You know what I mean? So we're over here digging up big dirt. You know, we got the big tools out here. Uh, you know, so right from here, the grass is gonna finish off here. And then this is all gonna go into a, uh, a, a, a rocky area. So, you know, man, this is how you outfit your house for the kennel. You know, uh, that's the key, man, is, you know, if you're living amongst your dogs, you want to make sure you have the right equipment, the right storage, the right, you know, containment for your animals so they can, you know, not tear up your whole yard because dogs are going to be destructive if they're excited. Especially you got dogs like mine, they got a lot of excitement, a lot of, a lot of drives. So if you don't get them out, they, you know, they got to do something. So give them that space to where they can just kind of do their thing. Streets.